stress disorder has been in the headlines a lot lately with thousands of American troops reportedly struggling with the illness. But PTSD is not just a soldier's disease. It's now a common diagnosis among civilians. Andrew McCarron is here now with more on that story. Experts say as many as one in ten Americans suffers from PTSD. Women are far more likely than men to be diagnosed. But anyone exposed to a traumatic event is at risk. Natural and man-made disasters like the recent wildfires in California or the devastation of Hurricane Katrina when residents abruptly and unexpectedly lose everything they own. <coughs> Victims of violent crime, especially if they've witnessed a loved one being injured or killed. Even being involved in a serious car accident can trigger PTSD. It was absolutely horrifying, the most horrifying event of my life. <coughs> Ready? For Lori Cooper, right. it was a traumatic emergency cesarean section during the birth of her son, Bennett. Laying on the table, being strapped down, I would compare it um, to some sort of, of sexual abuse or rape. For weeks after her son's birth, Cooper, now a mother of three, could barely function. I didn't feel like a mother to my son. It was a horrible start. She was initially diagnosed with postpartum depression, but her symptoms only got worse. Flashbacks, nightmares, I would wake up sweating. Classic signs of post-traumatic stress disorder. They can occur like a common cold from which you recover, or that common cold can become pneumonia. Dr. Robert Ursano says PTSD is one of the most common psychiatric illnesses, though it's still a mystery why women are much more likely than men to suffer from non-military PTSD. A serious motor vehicle accident or tornado or hurricane, a sudden unexpected death of a friend or loved one, one can develop the symptoms of PTSD. After an agonizing year, Cooper was finally diagnosed with PTSD and got the help she needed. A few professions are at particularly high risk for developing PTSD. Studies show law enforcement officers, nurses, firefighters, and ambulance workers have the highest rates among civilians. Andrea McCarran, ABC 7 News. And that's all now for ABC 7 News at 5, now at 6 tonight.